Hello, everybody. Uh, it's Gary Kudra from Kelvin Health. Um, Kelvin is a solution for preventive telemedicine, uh, applying AI analysis of thermal images. The problem that we are addressing is that significant amount of people are delaying their medical examinations and do non-preventive uh, medicine measures, which might lead to severe complications or even lethal outcome. This is even more severe in the context that a lot of uh, healthcare providers have no uh, telemedicine or preventive medicine solution or type of care for their patients. Kelvin um, enables uh, various types of conditions that we can call thermally verifiable conditions to be spotted in the comfort of your home. So how it works, um, it applies a thermal camera to your mobile phone uh, where you can take a photo of yourself uh, from a short distance, uh, typically naked above the waist. Then we apply our specific uh, medical um, thermal segmentation of the image that can spot various types of anomalies and differences, or at least make them visible um, as part of a thermal image. And as a next step, we apply artificial intelligence analysis of those images um, using state-of-the-art machine learning approaches to detect various types of anomalies or severe changes in condition. Uh, the advantages of those mirrored uh, in compared to existing medical imaging approaches are numerous. Um, this include the fact that it's a non-invasive solution, it emits no radiation and have no negative uh, impact of your overall health status. It's AI driven to a huge extent, it can automate the spotting of things that are hard to be spotted by, um, by the human eye. Uh, and as a result, it enables you also to do in a very inexpensive way daily checks in the comfort of your home. This is directly applicable to various types of conditions. Of course, not every condition has uh, its significant thermal um, footprint, but uh, there are very important cases like uh, breast cancer in the context of oncology or autoimmune diseases related to inflammation, various types of skin inflammations in the context of dermatology, traumatology uh, that can be spotted using um, our thermal imaging approach. This is uh, also very important in the context of pediatric care uh, because there it's important not to expose the kids to any invasive or radiation-based uh, methods for monitoring of their condition. Here you can see various examples, uh, for example, fibrosis on the left breast, um, we have the effect of um, severe physical activity on the human body. Uh, we also can see uh, what is the thermal footprint of various types of um, traumas and injuries in the emergency response room context. We can have uh, the, the level of inflammation in the case of RA. We can see various types of vascular uh, conditions like thrombophobitis, for example. And very interestingly, we can see how in an asymptomatic patient, the thermal approach can still uh, make visible various types of changes in the thermodynamic of their body, which is related to various types of inflammationary processes, inflammatory processes uh, in the specific patient, even in the context of a single day. Uh, we are in the very active R&D phase of the project right now, establishing various types of collaborations um, with hospitals, both here in Bulgaria, but also leading oncology centers in um, Italy and Slovenia that are supporting us in the data collection uh, for machine learning, especially in the context of uh, breast cancer. And also, uh, we are about to officially start a collaboration partnership with uh, Novartis Oncology Europe, again, uh, for monitoring of, of breast cancer conditions using thermal imaging AI, uh, especially in the context of uh, monitoring the effect of therapy of, of their products uh, in a very non-invasive and no radiation-based approach using Kelvin Health. So our mission is to impact positively the life of many people around the world um, using uh, our non-invasive solution in the comfort of their home which might greatly increase the chance of various conditions to be spotted before it's too late. Thank you for your time and attention and I'm happy to you know, be in contact with you.